three necessities to keep in mind when reciting the Quran. Number one, taharatul badni wal makan, the cleanliness of the body and the place, the area that you are going to recite in. I think the key point here would be around taharatul badni, which is ensuring that you are in a state of purity. You have performed ghusl if if needed, and more importantly, and I know many of you would miss this one out, especially the younger lot, but even the older lot, to be fair, uh, which is uh, ensuring that you have wudu. I say the younger lot for sure, because when I was young, and this is, you know, uh, I'm, I'm exposing myself here, but when I was young, I would be more worried about, or stressed about learning what I need to recite to my teacher rather than performing wudu. So don't be like me. Number two, al-isti'adatu wal-basmalatu, which is ta'awud and tasmiyah. So, a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytani rajim, bismillahi rahman rahim أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. This is a necessity. فإذا قرأت القرآن فاستعذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. And the basmalah, there's you know a difference of opinion, but just a quick point that I can share with you is my teacher told me he said okay yes there's a whole thing about is it necessary is it not okay fa fine we can discuss that all day long but why are you missing out on 19 uh you know reciting those 19 letters multiplied by 10 which is 190 rewards as a minimum why are you missing out and number three it is necessary when we recite the quran we're not reciting you know any random book that we just taken from the from the local library we're reciting the words of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is emphasized and you know, in a way necessary to recite in your best voice possible. I hope that helps.